Hello and welcome back to another Arknights reading session. Last time I read DVSD1 and I guess that was the prologue and today I am going to be reading the story from DV-1 and we'll see how it goes. If I have enough time uh, I'll read DV-2 as well but if not I'll just read this separately from this. So let's get started. Oh right, how did everyone, um, oh there's a before and after, okay. That's fine, we'll read both of them. So how was my last uh, reading session that you all watched? I hope you all watched it. <laughs> Otherwise, why am I doing this? Well, actually I'm just reading this for my own, own enjoyment. So if you're all sticking with me along with this ride, then by all means. 3.56 p.m. Overcast. Main District of Trimonts. Oh, who is this? Looks like Pikachu. <laughs> With the ears and all that. Sort of. This is the third time you've paged through Telopsis' personal log, Doctor. Oh, Doctor's here. Any new discoveries? Nope. Telopsis keeps some detailed... Rich records, pioneer team leader has good education. Um, oh man. I know these dialogue options don't really matter um, other than changing the dialogue a bit, but I think I'm going to go with the first one. Telopsis has a kind of special chip implanted in her brain. Right. That she does, I think, right? Device number nine. Mayor calls it. Guessing it's Ryan Lab's internal code name for that tech. It's plugged up there directly into her nervous system, functions as a regular part of her mind, and logs data on neural activity in each region and lobe all the while. Which means you've just been looking at every last thing Telopsis' visual processors, her own two eyes, have been seeing. Oh, wow, doctor. From the logs Telopsis keeps synchronized with us, we can tell that along with her, there are, there's our other Rhode Island partner operator, Alina, in Ryan Lab's energy section. Along with Ryan Lab's Originium Arts section's director, Dorothy Franks. That's everyone caught up in this abduction by the pioneers. Oh, okay. So everyone is up to speed with the abduction um, of Ask Genie, Genie and Telopsis. Oh, right. Um, after posting the last video and in between the time from then and now, I learned that Astgen isn't how I pronounce her name, but it's Astgenie, I think. So I'm going to say that from now on. I hope that's correct because I watched a video of someone recording all the voice lines for her in English. So Astgenie, I think. And practically simultaneously, Saria informed us Rhine Lab Ecological Section's director, Milsi went missing after she sent out an SOS. And there's no telling if she's currently alive or dead. Oh yeah, she got, like, um... What was it? Did she... I don't think she got killed, but maybe injured to some extent. There's an issue at Ryan Lab. Dot dot dot. Are research jobs seriously this high risk? <laughs> Apparently so. Welcome to Columbia. <laughs> Sky high odds, Rhine Lab is already in crisis. If things are pushing Saria to ask Rhodes Island for help. Lucky the land ship's nearby, or else we'd be hard pressed to make an expedition ex expedite this expedite this response. The kidnapping's gone down at a new site about a hundred or so clicks out from Trimount, but Calcet's concern, concerned this has something to do with the experiments that got shut down a while back. The experiments that got shut down a while back, referring to 
the instant with Ifrit, right? <clears throat> Which was the illegal experimenting that happened that got like shut down and then if it was taken away by sorry and silence to Rhodes Island I think right oh doctor doesn't know right what do they do at the site originating mutation experimentation tell me something more about trimouts I am more interesting uh, interested in this the stuff they show to outsiders indicates it's your typical testing grounds currently in the middle of construction. The diabolic crisis, lock and water tank, the lumber yard. Each name means something to one of our Rhode Island operators and behind their fronts ties to hundreds of similar experiments. Most of these experiments have involved originium mutative effects on living being cells and each one has been incredibly dangerous. If, for, for example, right? In Colombia, more often than not, tech giants like Rhinelab aren't going to participate directly in such high-risk experiments. But didn't they kind of low-key fund that one guy who was doing those kind of sketchy experiments, right? Or unless I'm remembering wrong from the PV that dropped a while, well, a while ago. On the official channel. They'll have smaller scale organizations carry them out on their behalf, hire a pioneer team, construct a suitable site out in the wasteland fringes of the city to execute their experimental work. In this case, Telopsis is at site 359, which is one of those. I remember your previous work experience. Have you done similar sites before? Yeah, he knows a lot work? I'm not gracing my time there with the word work. Those megacorps plagiarized what I created and applied it in all places it wasn't meant to be. Oh, interesting. See that billboard about 50 meters out? Volvor Ka Kaczynski? Automatic popcorn tron for home faster sweeter every time. I still have the prototype sketch for its energy core on my terminal. It was supposed to be used in automatic wasteland road cleaners at first, but my manager decided it never sell as a product. He says, what kind of HR is companies spending on better equipment for pioneers? Brought my mind to Rhodes Island after that. Of course, clear a team in engineering using the very latest tech model. Oh, so, oh yeah, I just noticed he's got um, Rhodes Island badge over here. So he's a Rhodes Island operator. So I guess this person was a pioneer before joining Rhodes Island. I've long seen it coming, be it Volvort, Kaczynski, or Ryan Lab. In the end, all these so-called tech firms are going to be destroyed by their own creations because they've never respected the creations themselves. Um, this. Dot dot dot. Was that a laugh line, Doctor? Because what you said isn't sci-fi flick material, or a dumb joke. Chances are it's tomorrow's news. <laughs> now I get why Closure admires and fears you. Oh! He worked with Logos. For all you don't know who Logos is, Logos is a another elite operator, I think, at Rhodes Island. Um, not gonna lie, still waiting for him to be an op playable operator because he's kind of hot. <laughs> he's got an interesting background too. Like I even went out of my way to look up a bit of info on him, but I'm not going to go into that in this video. But you can look him up yourself. As a partner, Logos is pretty good, but you can give him a reminder, doctor. Oh, but can you give him a reminder, doctor? If he could cut some of his speech craft, missions sometimes would go down by at least 30%, and I could spend more time on my actual job. Wait, so speech craft? So his 
Banshee ability, maybe? Done processing the intel, Doctor. This is as much useful info, info as we have for now. I've already set the most important files to top priority on lookup. You can read them via PRTS at any time. Any more news? Teloptis' logs haven't been updated past this point. Device number 9's data transmission should be more stable ever since Mayer adjusted it. So unless something physically happened to Telopsis. Ooh. Yeah. I hope so. Silence will notify us of any developments at the site as they happen. Oh, so Silence is going with Gray to the location to save them or negotiate with the pioneers, maybe? Then what the heck is Doctor doing? <laughs> Sorry has copied the info. She'll be rendezvousing with us in an hour. Doctor, any other proposals for the time we have left? Go to where, yep. I'm a mechanist. I'm no detective's assistant. And I'm just an originium researcher. Please, mechanist. Alright, doctor. In that case, we move, we move now. Here's hoping I'm back on the landship by tomorrow at my beloved workbench. Ooh, are we at the site? 6.47 p.m. Overcast. Test site 359 observation station. Try mounts outskirts. Ooh, pretty lady. And random NPC, I guess. Anything new with the people on site? Nothing, officer. You shot word to your director Clooney or whatever at Ryan, right? When exactly will he be here? Director Clooney's in a meeting right now. Oh, that's sus. Meeting? You're telling me he's still in a meeting? What kind of meeting's more important than his employees' lives? Well, he's a big shot. I don't think he cares about the employees here with the scheming he's doing here. They're prob He's probably making all them scapegoats. Damn it. Give me those binoculars. Uh, okay. You don't think those pioneers are gonna follow through, do you? Oh wait, she's not part of the pioneers. Okay. Um, I don't know. Let me tell you, they will. Push them enough, and they'll do any freaking thing. Ooh. Grown up gray and silence. Silence has not aged one bit. <laughs> so you mean our colleagues at the site could be in mortal danger? Who are you? Olivia Silence, Rhine Lab researcher, and Rhodes Island Pharmaceuticals partnered med medic operator. This is my colleague from Rhodes Island, Mr. Gray, with the engineering department. H Hello, I'm Rhodes Island electrical engineer, but I'm still interning. S interning? Okay. Rhodes Island? What kind of useless crap does that company do? Are we not known? I thought we were famous. Err. Forget it. Save the explanation. One day passes in Trimount and the barge of fresh company names unloads out of the sewers. Oh, shots fired. <laughs> You're Ryan Lab, right? Got any pull in the office? Pull? Ma'am, I'm not too sure what you mean. Forget it. I knew you wouldn't be in charge. You strike me as one of those eggheads swimming in book types, like the hostages they got. You guys and those guys might as well live on different planets. I heard they were pioneers working at the site. Pioneers. The name rings too nice for anything except billboards. And I know better than anyone what kind of people they are. Convicts. Gamblers. Infected who can't stick the medical fees. Nothing to lose by the time they went out to the waste. Ooh. She's not nice. Excuse me. Could we try and talk to them? 
You might have realized already, but Dr. Silence and I are both infected. We're in a place to understand their situation. Rhinelab makes stupid cash, doesn't it? So does Rose Island or whatever. You've got these, let's say, well-intentioned companies paying your insurance premiums. <laughs> That's the key thing. That's why you can shut up about understanding them. Premiums? What part exactly is... It's the way things work here in Colombia. A policy aimed at infected. Ma'am, please trust us. I Rhodes Island is a pharmaceutical corporation dedicated to addressing infected issues. Addressing issues? If I gave you a crossbow and told you to square away those kidnappers from here, would you do it? I couldn't. I'm a doctor. What about him? Me? No, no. I don't think we've reached the point where we have to resort to violence. Then it looks to me like you two can't help much at all. Negotiation failed. <clears throat> oh, we're back here. Sunny! No sign of anyone coming, sir. They're playing it cool. Say, you think the Megacorps might not, uh, care if their hires died? What with those two being infected and all? Don't give me that. Infected aren't subhuman or nothing. At the very least, we don't want to treat each other like that. Alright. Said that on the Pioneer recruitment ads, too. Well, counter lucky stars, the ad ain't all lies, then. Would you kindly drop the communicator, Dr. Urbica? He said drop it. No funny business. Alright. I'm, I'm putting it down. Please don't hurt us. I'm pretty sure these girls know more, can utilize more arts uh, skillfully than these guys here. Especially Alina. And she's got a healer, a uh, medic operator with her too. <laughs> Sir, she was sending messages. Bring me those comms, Sam. I mean, they were already sent. They can't take it back anymore, right? Hmm, only half type. Didn't get to send anything yet. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> no, you had a chance! These are, ex these are our exact coordinates. You want to send a drone in or something? Let me give you another idea. Change this to... An SOS, send it to your tutor, your manager, whoever. Tell them, I'm waiting, and my patience is running out. What exactly are you after? Well, that's wicked simple, doctor. Me and my friends here, we all just want to leave this place alive. That's all. Who's this? Oh, it's the villain, right? <laughs> Director, finally, you're back. Can you spare a moment? You're Ben. Ben from Structural. Y you remember my name? Call me Ferdinand. Nine whole directors at Rhinelab and all. Sir, Ferdinand. My next meeting is in ten minutes. How many meetings does this guy have? <laughs> He's actually busy in meetings. I can spare you seven of those. Ah, alright, thank you, thank you. Sir, do you know where Control is right now? I've got Structural's application for equipment purchases here. Control was supposed to give us an answer three days ago, but we haven't heard anything from her. Structural's having to suspend a lot of its experiments right now. Give me the form. Alright. Go procure. Oh, he just signed it. Did... Did you just sign? The handbook says large-scale equipment purchases this expensive have to go to, through control. How long have you been with Ryan Lab? Just a couple of months? Yes, sir. I reported in a month ago. Oh, he's a newbie. See the site in front of you? Huh? Isn't it monumental? Fifteen years ago, this place was still a wasteland. 
Not even a single nomadic plate yet. You wouldn't see Rhinelab on the foldout of Trimount's back in those days. I Meet Parvis for tea, if get the chance. You've got a lot to learn, Ben, and you won't find it in your handbook. Uh, Alright, got it, sir. He seems like a nice boss, but kinda sus. Well, look at that. I still have four minutes left. Oh, radio? Oh, pretty girl. Not often you call me out when it's light out, Fernadan. Oh, jeez, yikes. <laughs> what is her name? Ho Holyak? Okay, I'm gonna give her a nickname to make things easier. I'm gonna call her... Wait, the first two letters ain't a good word. Um... I'm just going to call her, um, Holhe. Yeah, Holhe. From now on, from now on, I'm going to call her Holhe. Are you done with everything I asked? Mm-hmm. At least three empty seats for Ryan Lab's director's meeting today. No, that's not enough. Oh, which director's next? Wait, he's sending her to, like, assassinate all the directors. Are you finally fed up with the old goat behind the chimeric organism experiments? Or do you want the dreamer at the test site to never come back? Dreamer? Dreamer? Dorothy? Word is, Rhodes Island people went to the site. The experiment's almost complete. I don't want anyone getting in the way before it's done, understood? You want me on site? No, no, no need for that. How cruel. Your assistant's one of the hostages, isn't she? I saw that Alina girl once. She's as pretty as she is hardworking. I had a feeling you'd like her. She's with energy. She can wrangle the pioneers. You keep an eye out on developments in the city. It's unlikely Rhodes Island would send two operators to the site. Don't forget. Saria had a line to them all this time. Oh, your defense director again? Saria's already stalled our experiments long enough. You and Colonel... Well, wait. Both the Colonel and I are running short of patience. Remember, they can't find anything this time. About the ex experiments? The suspicious experiments? The sussy experiments? This is the place, Doctor. The last message we got from Saria was sent from this alley. Right by the commercial sector. That's the exact sector she was in. She was waiting for a mulesy. They'd agreed to meet at a specific time. Yep, got chased here. If she wasn't being pursued, she'd never choose to set foot in this alley. No matter who it was, acting in open streets would obviously have been too risky. Um, oh, what ability? Right, search complete. Ability to manipulate, oh wow, ability to manipulate water molecules. Would that be energy conversation type or matter reconstructing type in terms of originium arts? No matter which principle it is, it's powerful at a, at a glance. Water molecules, no flaws, visible to the naked eye. Even more interesting, experimental research folks and us mechanics are alike. Our powers of observation are usually razor keen. If it fooled even Sansa Mayer, then it's not your ordinary art solution. Yeah, she doesn't seem like she'd go down in a fight that easily. There's a couple of scorch marks on the ground. Not very wide range, whoever did it, all signs point to some kind of technical equipment used to heat the air surrounding Mulesy. Considering her arts are heavily dependent on water molecules, her opponent must have known her very well. As well as we do. You mean, they might be a Rhine insider too? Doctor, watch out! Oh no, we, we're being attacked. 
Yikes. That was an energy weapon. Shot from deep inside the alley. Enemies only 30 meters from us, give or take. And getting closer. Doctor, you'll want to stay behind me. Defense system active. Think we're in an ambush? Can we hold out? Oh, it's the big guys. Dr. Yukukun, I've never seen this model of power armor before. It's new. Without testing, I can't tell you how exactly how I can't tell you exactly how destructive any weapon hooked up to this could get. And by that, I mean we might need a change of plans. So are we running? <laughs> Escape system active. Now get on my back. Before is done. Now let's read after. How long was that? Oh gosh, it was 26 minutes. It's fine. We got this. Maybe it's shorter. Interesting. Doctor got ambushed by unknown robot enemy. Wow. Man, the thing with Ark Knight's um, story cutscenes is just all these still images. But like, it's okay, it's fine. Dialogue is interesting-ish, I guess. Strange power armor. I, I can't believe it. I had signal intervals active, active and everything. Even Closure's own latest drone gen wouldn't detect our location. What sentry tech is this power armor using? Can you paralyze it? I don't want to draw attention. Hold on tight, doctor. 10% power, aim. Did he just shoot something at him? Bingo. Is he down? Clear damage to the right arm blading detected. No reduction in speed. Show no signs of slowing when hit either. Who's in that suit? Do they not feel pain? I don't think anyone's in that suit. Okay. Nothing happened. Damage to left arm. Damage to lower right leg. Doctor, it's not reacting to damage at all. If we want to stop it, I'll need to power. I need to paralyze its power core in one shot. Come on, this makes no sense. Even the most well-trained soldier wouldn't have this much tolerance because there's no one inside, right? You're right, Saria. By mere fact of living, no individual can wholly suppress their most basic nervous responses. What's she doing? Is she gonna punch it? Oh gosh, she is punching it. Dude, guard Saria when? She can just use her fists. A hand smashes through the power armor's core. Countless mechanical fragments burst out like fireworks, just as the blood of a fellow life form would. Oh gosh, Saria, you scary. But strong. I like her. What a queen. The mecha fragments extracted by her sheer force turns into dust together with the pure white plating covering her five digits. It all drifts down to the floor, where it forms a paper-thin calcium crystal layer. Oh, she used arts. Okay. The power armor lies on the ground, the heat of its energy snuffed, a clean hole left through its torso. She just punched right through it! You... You pierced that power armor's core barehanded? Even Mikannis is, like, shocked. That's a... That's a might of mites, and definitely a lot quieter than my de defensive cannon. Doctor, looks like the Bureau of- oh, Originium whatever won't be taking us in for attempting bomb today. Attempted bombing today. I do not want new criminal records for Rhodes Island. I do not miss Colombian jail for even a little bit. Thanks for that, Saria. Pretty! No need, Doctor. Mechanist. I'm the one getting Rhodes Island involved in Ryan's internal affairs. 
I have a duty to ensure you don't come to any harm. Aw, oh, she's protecting us. Ferdinand was right on the money. Rhodes Island's people have already found Saria. Shall we maintain pursuit, ma'am? Oh, she's controlling the robots. I stuffed you inside that power suit just now. Do you think you'd survive? Oh, if I stuffed you. <laughs> she just- Saria would punch a hole right through him. Relax. Just hy just a hypothetical. Ma'am, no matter how powerful Saria is, there's only three of them. We've got them out- We've got them way outnumbered and outgunned with our secret weapon. Underestimate the enemy at your own peril. Haven't you been around Rhine Lab enough to learn? The punier a scientist looks, the harder she might just pulverize you. Saria? <laughs> Sounds like she's speaking from first-hand experience. You mean that mechanist or the professor-looking one with the hidden face? They can't be stronger than Ryan's defense director, right? Rhodes Island. They've got talent for days. Let's go. I'm in love with that hypothetical just now. And I've got a few new ideas I want to try out. Dude, she's crazy. I like it. Oh, bad dude. Ferdinand, why are you glaring? Good evening, Colonel. Clooney. Give me a rundown of what's going on at the site. Just minor boat rocking. You know how hard it is for pioneers to be satisfied, no matter how generous you get with their terms. Initiative is their strong point, and it forms the basis of Columbia's endless expansion, but sometimes it carries with a little hassle. So it's hassle. Unhassle it then. <laughs> wow, th thanks for the advice, man. I want to see the results you promised. Not Rhinelab in the gossip rags. Remember, you aren't the only tech company in Colombia. Understood. Rest assured, Colonel. Rhinelab's products will not let you down. So we're just trying not to lose this investor we have for Rhinelab? Sir, got a whole crew wanting out of this now. They say your plan's hopeless. That nobody's gonna listen to us. We can try everything we want. We'll never get our voices out. They're also asking who cares what Ryan Lab's up to. Like, we just need to get this work done sooner, get our money, move on to the next place, and keep going. As for the guys who went missing, well, their luck just ran out. The pioneer teams out in the deep wastes see more dead every year than we do anyway. I get it. Tell them just to hold on a little longer. I'll bring your people back. So what's your plan? I'm gonna head out for a bit. Out? Isn't, isn't that too dangerous? If the cops sent sharpshooters, they might just be waiting for you to come out. Sounds like a good deal to me. Wh what? You're going to keep your head together, right? A police sharpshooter, right? Might just be an old friend of mine. Crack shot with a crossbow. If this is how it's going to be, it's not going to be too, it's not going to hurt too bad. Sunny. Dr. Urbica, Dr. Moore, or Doc Moore, I need you to come out for a walk. Is Telopsis down? Dead? W what is she doing? Why are her eyes closed? You can drop the pretense. Do we have a choice here? Afraid not. Keep your chin up. Once the folks outside get to see the score, maybe they'll change their minds, open up, and take our demands more seriously. Demand seriously. Back outside again. Officer, we've got movement. Drones, prepare to fire. No, hold your fire. Officer? We can't hurt the hostages. You, uh, Dr. Silence over there. Is there a development, ma'am? Take a look through the binoculars. Are those your two colleagues behind us, the Pioneer? She was about to say his name. S sir, the comm lit up. Give it.
knew it'd be you. They know each other. I could say the same thing. You, uh, you made rank, right? Didn't get the chance to congratulate you. Who knew you'd stay at the present so long? You keep getting all this hassle from the frontier. And I never thought you'd end up so depraved. You still remember any of the classes you took? Your law courses? Oh, they were classmates. You still remember? Oh, swearing. The, you said to me, the day I joined the force? That's great. We'll be partners again. It'll just be... It'll just... Oh, it'll be just like all those games we played as kids. We'll protect Columbia's peace. Bring the bad guys to justice. Huh, how's that irony? You're... You're bad guy number one right here and now. Mary. I mean, I'm gonna say it right here, right now. Potential ship? What's all that crap your boys are holding? Homemade weapons? Drop those things before you embarrass yourselves anymore. Girl, chill! You degraded yourself this far, but you still have an option. One final option. Let those two innocent ladies next to you go. No, that's not in the cards for now. Damn it, you're inching over the cliff here. Sure, the government lets a criminal join the pioneers if he doesn't want to do hard time. But if you break the law again out on the frontier, what charges does that buy you? Answer me, counsel. Don't call me that, Mary. I'm begging you. You're trying to guilt trip me. Yeah, I feel guilty now. Guilty I let you go when you broke into my house. I should have hauled your ass straight to the station. Ooh. That was a long time ago. I mean, I'd only just... I'm sorry. I've always been sorry about that. And now you apologize? And this time, I have a reason for doing all of this. You have to hear me out, please. Nope, she shut off the communications. Sir, what? The doc, the doc, she... Doc Moore? Dilopsis? Oh, she's awake! Configuration, error, entering, power save mode. Oh shoot, Joyce! What's happening to her, doctor? You can tell she's having an attack. What? It, is it aripathy? No, it's it's the chip in her brain, I guess. Come on, I got her. There's drugs for her, right? I, I can't do injections. Nug. Come on, she looks like hell. Well, she kind of looks fine here, but... <laughs> Imagination, guys. Imagination. I I got this first aid treatment ban Ryan gave us. Does this... This does something for aripathy flare-ups, right? I'll put it on her. You're willing to give your own emergency care device to Joyce? If you hand her that ban, your odds of survival go down significantly on the off chance you get a sudden attack. The doc's been good to us all this time. I don't want anything to happen to her. You say as the one who kidnapped me and Joyce. We never wanted it to do you dirty. I'm sorry, we're just a bunch of selfish nobodies. Feels bad. <clears throat> Are the comms still going? Ma'am, would you mind giving me permission to talk to the pioneers? Delibery experiencing an attack is my colleague and my good friend. And more important still, I am her attending physician. I want to gather her situation from the pioneers. Judging by their reactions, they clearly aren't unconcerned for her. Go nuts. But you don't have much time. I just got orders on from on high. If the pioneers refuse to cooperate for another 10 minutes, we'll cut all comms to the test site, along with all power to their living quarters. You, you'll, cut the direct, you'll cut the electricity? Day-night temperature swings are massive in the barrens. They'll be freezing by midnight. And there are several late-stage aripathy patients among the pioneers. They need medical facilities to live. I know. That's what makes this a warning. 
They need to know how serious Ryan and the police are here. All their protests and demands have to be founded on a legal basis. Once, once they take the criminal route, nobody's going to hear them out. But aren't you friends with that pioneer leader? Friends? The moment he abandoned himself, there was nothing left to say. Telopsis, are you okay? How is she? Real-time blood crystal density is dropping. Eye movement indices are still highly irregular. Eye movement indices? Indices? Due to her ripathies focused lying in the brain. Any fluctuation in her condition will impact her nervous system, causing her to fall into deep sleep and go so far as to trigger epi epileptic attacks. Huh? Who's there? The comms are still open. Hello, sir. I'm Joyce Moore's attending physician. My name is Silence. Doc Silence. Firstly, I'd like to offer you my thanks. Joyce's condition has only stabilized so quick quickly with your aid and that of the other pioneers. You're gonna thank us kidnappers, huh? In return, and please trust me when I say this, we really truly wish to assist you. We still have five minutes before your comms and power to your living quarters are simultaneously cut. Sir, sir, we've got a blackout. It seems they've started acting ahead of schedule. Don't sweat it. I gotta appreciate you being willing to warn us. I gathered from Ma'am Mary that you'd like a dialogue with the Ryan Labs upper management. Can I ask why that is? I want to beg them to stop the experiments they're doing here. To what? You're a good doc. Same as Doc Moore here. But something tells me stopping a project this big is out of your hands. Can you tell the Ryan Labs boss that this experiment is seriously wicked dangerous? Sir, do you have any proof? Even if I did, would you believe me? A lone pioneer at the end of the, his rope? What kind of crazy thing are they, they doing there? Officer, we're all set. We can cut the site's comms anytime. Wait for Doc Science to finish. But the director's demanding immediate... Sorry, what police rank does your director hold? Remind me. Tell freaking Ferdinand that saving people is my job. I'm not taking him on a ride along here. The director's been in contact with the commissioner, officer. They drew up this plan together. Director Ferdinand? I never imagined defense would fall under energy's purview. Er. If Ferdinand feels that structural is his rule too, then I would not mind resigning for mind lab effective immediately. Ooh. Telopsis? Are you okay? Oh, guess not. Joyce! Joyce! Is she asleep? She's lost consciousness. If we don't get her treatment in time, she, she'll experience brain death before long. Sir, I am preparing to enter the site now. I understand your concern, so I'd like to reassure you I will not be carrying any weapons. What weapon does Silas use, aside from her drones? Don't do anything stupid, Doctor. I know full well what I am doing. Sir, I will not allow any officers nor defense personnel to follow me. Researcher Silence, I will report your conduct to Director... Director Parvis. I am entering Test Site 359 under my status as a Rhodes Island operator. Me too and my electrical engineering colleague will be accompanying me. We will provide medical services free of charge to Arupithi patients on site. Not just for my friend, but for all of you. I do not care what choices Ryan Lab makes in the wake of this. I only know this, treating the infected is constant to the Rhodes Island Code of Conduct. Okay, so that's the end of the before act. Silence is going into the test site to save Tolhopsis, hopefully, and help the rest of the infected at the test site that 
lost all its power at the moment. But man, companies always, always very, always very bad. I'll have to say. Well, we'll see how this goes. I'm kind of wondering if Ferdinand will lose his job by the end of this. I hope he does. It seems like he's kind of doing some sussy things. But that's it for today's video, I guess, today's story reading. Let me know what you thought. Um, what do you think is going to happen in the next one? The next one's going to be DV-2. Probably going to be reading um, the before and after story of this. Yeah, it's going to be a, quite a long one. No, it's 45 minutes now. But I guess this is how long it's going to be for each... Um, episode I do here. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next reading. Let me know how it went. Bye!